Now, after the botched government response to this Hilho ferry disaster, a great deal of criticism has been leveled at the harmful actions or inaction of former government officials heading public organizations. Now, among the 38 heads of public agencies or、uh, government monitoring under government monitoring for reckless management, almost half were so called parachute appointments. Our Kim Min Ji tells us what they are. Light has been shed on a series of parachute appointment cases at public institutions. Data has shown that almost half of former government officials that held the top positions of public institutions got their jobs from cronyism and not really based on their qualifications. Among the 38 heads of public organizations under the priority control of the government for reckless management, 18 were former government officials. Former officials of the Ministry of Trade, Industry, and Energy now head public organizations such as the Korea Trade Insurance Corporation and the Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power. The heads of other public institutions, including the Korea Exchange and the Korea Deposit Insurance Corporation, were from the Ministry of Strategy and Finance. A list of officials from other ministries, the Maritime, Culture, Transportation, Agriculture, and Fisheries, also held top rankings of public organizations. In some cases, there were former government officials that were not even related to the job, while at others, former politicians held top ranking positions. More than half of the standing auditors at these so called reckless management public institutions were former government officials, while 31% of them were non executive directors and 18% executive directors. The Korea Deposit Insurance Corporation had the highest ratio of such officials, followed by the Korea Gas Technology Corporation and Kangwon Land Corporation. Experts say the normalization of public institutions should begin with the rooting out of these parachute appointments. Kim Min Ji, Arirang News.